So measure u. Measure u reads as, uh, well, it says, this measure was placed on the ballot by initiative petition signed by the requisite number of voters. The measure does not seek voter approval to impose any new or additional tax. This measure will not have effect on any existing law. A yes on this vote will repeal the special tax associated with Fire Protection Service Zone 5 and reduce annual revenue to the San Bernardino County Fire uh, Protection District by approximately $41.5 million annually. Uh, now, I'm very much in, in uh, favor of supporting the f local fire departments, fire departments in general, because we really need them out here in California. However, this uh, particular measure is going to decrease the tax money that is put into the uh, fire department in District 5. But there's a specific reason that there was a petition to do this. And I needed to look into the details myself to figure out what's going on. Why are people trying to defund the fire department? And uh, upon my research, I found out why people are voting for this. And I, I will be voting yes on Measure U also to repeal this tax. And I will give you the details as to uh, what I found out about it. So the League of Women Voters hosted an informal Zoom meeting on Measure U, the repeal of Fire Protection District 5, with speakers who opposed the measure. The county uh, fire chief Dan Munsey and fire captain and president of IAFF Local 935, Jim Grigoli. And in favor of the measure, Natalie Zook from the Red Brennan Group. This was on Thursday of September 24th. So this is a little uh, over, like close to a month ago. Uh, responding to calls isn't our only job. It's preventing the calls, explained Muncie. If we only respond, there's no time for business inspections, education, and awareness campaigns. Zook from the Red Brennan Group, the nonprofit responsible for placing the measure on the ballot, argued that FP-5 is illegal because voters did not have the opportunity to vote on it. The annual 157 fee causes undue financial burden to the disenfranchised population. Over 350 voters did not get to vote on it, and residents in Grand Terrace already pay 10% of property taxes to the county on top of the 157 fire tax service. Zook presented. The $157 is the cost of monthly groceries for one person and equals six days of meals for a family of four. Then the Grand Terrace resident and retired educator, Dr. Tom Rivera, is one of those residents charged the 157 on top of the 10% property tax allocation to County Fire. We trusted elected officials to reach decisions through a fair process, Dr. Rivera remarked. This was not the case when the Board of Supervisors imposed a countywide property tax on the basis of a small sample of voters, a thousand to be approximate, that approved for the tax uh, for their area in Helendale. So basically, they implemented this tax by consulting with only a thousand people within a specific area. Uh, there's millions of people in San Bernardino, so to consult only with a thousand people and then implement the tax on millions of people is uh, pretty fucked up. And then we have further reporting here from Rebecca Dupree, a staff writer at the City News Group, who wrote in that the San Bernardino County Fire uh, Protection District passed a resolution in 2018 approving of this expansion, which the Red Brennan Group argues was unconstitutional. The county board issued an uh, opportunity for residents to protest the expansion. However, it requires 25% of property owners who own at least 25% of the impacted land for an election to be initiated. The protest process consisted of allowing landowners to submit a no by protest form or showing up to a public hearing. None of these cities were able to reach a 25% protest, so the tax was then implemented throughout all unincorporated areas of San Bernardino County. While this tax was initially self-imposed as a vote from 1,022 residents in Helendale, it was expanded to become a $41.5 million expense from the citizens of all unincorporated areas of San Bernardino County, plus cities of Yucca Valley and Grand Terrace. Natalie Zook, the Media and Public Relations Director of the Red Brennan Group, believes that the issue of the tax isn't about the money. It's about a transparency problem with the county and the constituents. It says a dangerous precedent if we let San Bernardino County get away with this, Zook said. Elected officials aren't representing their voters. In May, 
Fire Chief Dan Munsey gave a presentation to the Fire Board detailing that if service zone FP-5 is repealed, it would result in 41.5 million loss of revenue to the San Bernardino County uh, Fire Protection District. The district may be forced to close 15 fire stations, decrease firefighter life-saving care by over 200, ultimately increasing response times. Secondary impacts would include the elimination and or reduction of several crucial programs. In the North Desert Service Zone, the division that serves Hellendale, fire personnel would nearly be cut by half. Before the FP-5 tax, this region was historically under-resourced and emergency response times in some areas exceeded an hour. The future of the FP-5 tax and our local fire departments will be decided by registered voters in November. Although proponents support fire protection, this measure is more of a statement of how the tax was forced upon property owners. It will appear on your ballot as Measure U to repeal the special tax association with fire protection zone 5. And in this time, it will be up to the citizens of San Bernardino County to decide its fate. All I got to say is you got to follow the legal process if you want that funding. Well, to sum this up, Measure U, and to the firefighters, I do, I honestly, I really do want you to get the funding that you do need. But next time, consult with all the taxpayers, and not just a few in a selected area. Like I said, I mean, fire department is very important. Fire protection is very important, especially in this state. But you can't just be going around and unconstitutionally implementing taxes without voter approval. So, yeah, in conclusion, I'm voting yes on Measure U, and so should you. See you guys in the next one.